We're with Grace Monroe Home, and uh, where we make the ordinary front door extraordinary, and we know that you can too. And we're going to be making what uh, we have named our Southern Charm Farmhouse Wreath, which is our Magnolia Wreath. And I'm going to show you what we're using for that wreath. We've got a 14-inch grapevine wreath that we're using. And we've got some beautiful magnolias here that we're going to be using. We've got some white uh, filler wildflowers that we're going to be using. We've got several grasses and vines that we're going to be using. Anybody that has watched me for very long knows that I love the greenery. And so uh, I've got several in this one. And we've got some magnolia leaves. So this one has been one of our most popular farmhouse designs and it's one of my personal favorites. So I'm excited to be able to show it to you today. Yes, I love this wreath. This is, this is probably definitely top five of the wreath that we make. I love yes. this wreath. And tonight we have uh, partnered with Sherbonder. Yes. You guys know if you watch us, we love Sherbonder. We love our glue skillet. We use it we every use it day. every single time we go live. Yes. And tonight they are giving you guys a 30% off anything in their store, which we're really excited about. Your entire order, 30% off. So if you would like that coupon code, just uh, type the word glue in the comments and you will um, get a message with the link and the code so you can keep that because that is good I believe through the end of this month. So they've been so kind to give our Grace Monroe, Grace Monroe Home viewers that amazing discount. And that is, is an amazing discount. And this is an amazing glue skillet. I am telling you, we have had uh, been using the Sherbond or glue skillets, well, for years and years. I don't even know how long. But uh, this one that we have now is their professional glue skillet and it is by far my favorite. Yeah, Don't it's you my think? favorite too. I love it. Uh, it's got an amazing on off switch. It's got your dial here that's got the temperature control but I love this on off switch and it's just it's it's the perfect size for making a wreath and if you've been using a glue gun get one of these. These are the, it's going to save you so much time and effort and burning yourself and everything else trying to use one hand and use the glue gun this thing is amazing yeah. so all right so guys when you hop on say hi let us know where you're watching from share this video and um i'm going to go ahead and start making my bow i'm using a bodabra bow maker yes and she's actually using the original ribbon that we uh used for this design but I wanted to do something just a little bit different. So I am using this ribbon, which I just thought was so pretty. And I, I think it's gonna be great for this design. So but the really great thing about this wreath is it's so versatile. It is very versatile. You could use, uh, you know, not only burlap, but you could use uh, any, any color really, but some kind of green stripe check. You could do anything with this, with this design. So that's that's even better hey tony welcome cindy hello welcome thank you so much for joining us tonight hey debbie and donna and donna great oh uh, donna said she loves her two christmas wreaths they Three. were huge i'm so glad you love them donna hey, we Jennifer. appreciate your business well listen okay so i'm just making a very simple double bow for this wreath um, we didn't want the bow to overpower the wreath, so this is just a really simple bow. She already has hers made. Yes. And thank you guys so much for joining us. And if you are a first-time viewer, just uh, let us know that. Just put that in the comments. And you all, if you would share this, we would certainly appreciate it. That really helps us a lot. And... Uh, so we would definitely appreciate that. Yeah, and those of us, uh, those of you who are just joining us, make sure you type the word glue in the comments and you'll get the link to the glue, uh, the glue skillet and the coupon code for the 30% off um, Sherbonders, enti your entire order with them. So that's a really great that deal. That is an amazing deal. And they're it just is, doing it. Because they do have the glue pellets that you use in your glue skillet as well. So. Uh, you can, you know, get everything that you need. And they've got some amazing glue guns as well. Uh, I, we've got several, and they are great. 
They really are. And right now I've just cut off some of my Hey Sue, welcome. Granary. Some of the comments are going by a little bit fast, so if I don't um, say hello to you, welcome. We've got several new first yes, timers. Hi Irma. We're so happy to have you join us. She's a first timer. All right, well welcome. From Tennessee. Okay, so this is just a really simple double bow. I'm using a linen distan, uh, really it's like a faux burlap ribbon. It is a wired ribbon, two and a half inch. Well, welcome, Kate. This is her second time here. Oh, great. Welcome, Kate. I think you were on last night. We are just blessed to have you here. Yes, we are. I'm going to go ahead and start adding some of my grasses here. And you do yours differently because I always add my magnolias first. Yes, uh, we, she and I both do, do it differently, but it does not matter as long as you get the job done. Tony from Illinois, welcome. So we're we're technically doing the same wreath design, but we're we're doing it a little different tonight. I've got some different magnolias. Mine have a little bit of a pink tint, and they're a little a um, little bit different from hers. But we just wanted to show you the different kind of variations that you can do on this wreath. Sure, this one you can do all kinds of of things with. So it is a great versatile wreath. And hey, Lori. We're happy to see you this evening. And these are really, really thick stems. Yeah, those those are very difficult to, to get in your grapevine, but it's not impossible. You can do it. I, I want to make sure they can see your wreath, so. Yes, I'm going to pull this up. So hopefully you can. Thank you for sharing, Kate. We appreciate that. Hi, hi Charmaine. Yes, right. <laughs> you're exactly right, Charmaine. She said if we all did things the same way, it would be a very dull world, and it surely would. Yeah, and it shows you the difference because she always starts with her greenery, and I like to always start with my big, prominent flowers. Yes. And so there's no right or wrong way. <laughs> um, Lori, these actually, she's asking where we got these flowers. These actually, uh, the magnolias here, came from Hobby Lobby. So... Well, everything I'm using. I, well, except for this. This uh, vine here came from Michael's, but everything else came from Hobby Lobby. We do order in supplies, but we do try to um, use what we know that you all can get, too. So, all of this came from Hobby Lobby. Hey Tino, welcome. And all I'm doing, some of sometimes these come in uh, when you cut them off. They're too separated in here, so I'm just pushing them closer to the top. I don't want them all the way smashed at the top, but I am pushing them up some. So just so you know what I'm doing. And this is another thing that if you've watched us uh, any length of time, we do use this greenery a lot. It is just a great uh, versatile greenery to use. So we're just dipping, uh, dipping our stems right into the Sherbonder glue skillet. Which is wonderful. The thing about the skillet is you... It, you have your hands free so that's what's so good and uh we know several of our people that are watching have uh ordered them and uh i know that they love them as much as as we do <laughs> betty believe it or not these pink um these pink Magnolia stems came from Walmart. <laughs> they sure did. And they're absolutely gorgeous and they're like such great quality. They really are. We were we were very pleased when we found those. But I saw them and I, I had to use them. <laughs> yep. 
so don't count out anywhere, you know, when you're looking for, for supplies because there's no telling what you'll find. Okay, so I'm going to start adding my... Uh, Charmaine was asking how many bunches of fern uh, you're using, or do you use? Um, now, which, which... This, this greenery here, this grass, and it is some kind of fern. I just don't know. They call, Hobby Lobby calls it green plastic plant. So <laughs> I don't know what exactly it's called, but I'm, I'm only using one of these, one, one bunch. So Yes, um, Roxy, that greenery, all of, the, all of the greenery came from Hobby Lobby. It sure yes. did. Yes, and now most of the time I do leave my leaves on, but... Let me show you the difference. Because these magnolia leaves are so gorgeous, and I wanted to use these for this wreath, so I'm cutting these that came on the flowers off. Now, you don't have to, if you're going to make this, you don't have to use the other magnolia leaves. You can just use the ones that came on it, but personally, I... Uh, I just like these. And for those of you just hopping on, thank you so much for joining us tonight. If you are a first time viewer, my name is Amanda. This is my mom, Sherry. We are designers with Grace Monroe Home. And um, we are just so blessed to have you guys here tonight. Yes. We're making a farmhouse magnolia wreath. If you guys have questions, just pop them in the comments. And if you if you just hopped on and you see, uh, yes, Betty, you do need to go to Walmart. Um, if you see that people are putting glue in the comments, it's because if you put glue, you will get a uh, a link to our amazing Sherbonder glue skillet. This is their professional grade glue skillet here, and it is wonderful. And not only that, but you will get a thirty percent uh, discount coupon code that's for anything that you purchase there, you know, during during that uh, one-time purchase. And the you said the coupon code is good for how long? I believe it's good um, through the end of the month, I believe. Yeah, so that is, that is a very good deal. I will say that these Magnolia stems that I'm using, you have to fight with them a little bit because they're really thick. They're very thick stems. And when you have them like that, you just, I mean, just, you just have to work them through the grapevine. Yes, Katie, we do. We trim the backs. We always leave our stems long because then we go around and we bend and adjust. So we leave the stems long and we just trim up the back and make sure that it's really trimmed up really good so that it doesn't um, scratch the door. We do that at the end. Yes. Yeah, those stems are a little harder to work with, but those are gorgeous. Yeah, they're really pretty, but they're they're a thick. A little harder to <laughs> to work with. That's okay. These magnolias are so pretty. Let's too. see, Crystal, you're asking what we use to attach when you don't have glue. Um, well, if you're not using a glue gun or a glue pot, um, I would think that the uh, maybe wire. maybe use uh, floral wire or zip ties. Maybe your next best bet. Yes, but I but really if at think, all possible. I, you would I love think this. The, you know, a glue gun or a glue skillet is going to be probably your easiest way. But you could use zip ties or um, mm -hmm. floral wire. And this bush had five magnolias on it, and that's exactly how many I need. So that's just the perfect 
bush. I only had to buy one of them. And we're just kind of using the greenery to fr frame the wreath. This way, just to make sure I've got my magnolias where I want them. I do so. Lori, if you type in the word um, glue, we'll automatically send you a message that has a link to where you can purchase this Sherbonder glue skillet and a 30% off um, code. So type the word glue in the comments. Yes, you can get everything you need uh, right there, and you get 30% off of anything you buy all together, you know. So you can get your, your glue pellets that go in it and everything. Hey, Dale. Welcome. Thank you for joining us tonight. Pushing all of those up to the front or to the top. There we go. And if you guys would just share this video, we would really appreciate it. Thank you so much for those of you who have hopped on tonight. Yes, and those that have shared it already, we definitely thank you for that. Yes, we love magnolias too, Dale. I think it's probably gorgeous. one of my favorites too. Yes, it is. Okay. So now I'm going to put in some of my little filler flowers here. Thank you for sharing. You guys that have shared, thank you so much. Oh, you know what? Actually, before I put these in, I'm going to add my magnolia leaves. And I for almost forgot about the magnolia leaves. No, that makes all the difference <laughs> yeah. to me, these leaves. These were just so pretty. And let's see. This is the ones that came on the magnolia bush. And then this is the ones that I bought. And look at the difference. These just make it to me. Yeah, these are just some small white wildflowers that we got from, um, these actually came from Michael's. We said everything came from Hobby Lobby. Hers are yes. a little different. Yours did yeah, mine, mine did, yes. But mine are different. Didn't. They are just mm -hmm. um, little wildflowers that came, they were in the summer section at Michael's. Linda, thanks for joining us tonight. Yeah, these magnolia leaves, they look so real. I love they, these. They do. They really They do. look like they just came off of a tree.
And when I'm adding the magnolia leaves, I try to put them just like I would find them so that they do look like they came, you know, with the, with the flower. Charmaine, these were a bush. These were just a bush. These came from Hobby Lobby. Yes. They're in the greenery section. And they're just on a bush, just the magnolia leaves. Wait just a second and I'll turn it back around. Just gonna get this just in the right place. Hey Karen. There we go. Thank you for watching tonight. to add my little filler flowers. You didn't put your leaves in yet, did you? No, uh, magnolia leaves? No, this Oh, leaves. no, I haven't okay. put that yet. No, you're ahead of me. Hey, Linda. Well, no, I don't have... It just looks like I have fillers because they, those had... Um, oh, they had the other, yeah. yeah. The, the good yeah. thing about the ones that we got from Walmart is they have the, a magnolia head, like a big bloom and then like a really small bloom. Yeah, so. they do, and that, that is pretty. I do love those. I mean, kind of, yeah, it's neat. So if you guys are wreath makers, let us know in the comments what you're working on right now. Hey, Georgianne. Welcome. We are already working on... Yes, Charmaine. I'm a lefty. <laughs> yes, she is. Yep. So, I do everything backwards, I guess. You know how that is. She's a lefty, too. I love you. She is, too. Yep. She and my husband are the two lefties. So Phyllis is finishing up a tropical reef. Oh, I and love Cindy's tropical. Cindy's doing a shutter. Oh, Cindy, you will oh, have to. Oh yes, and she gave me, me a that sneak peek. I haven't seen that yet. It is gorgeous. It is gorgeous. I told her I couldn't wait to see the finished product. Oh, Amy, oh, I hope you feel better and that you can start making again soon. Oh, bless her heart. She's not been feeling well. I think she had surgery. Oh, and Sherry says that she is starting a sunflower. If she can 
figure out exactly. I, I've been there, Sherry. She doesn't know exactly how she wants to design it. I have been right there. You know what always helps me, though, Sherry? I just kind of play with it. And, and uh, sometimes I have to take it all out and start over. But usually, once I get started, it kind of just makes itself. It's amazing how it does that. And Debbie's making a cotton and twig. Hey, Sylvia. And Anne's working on lots of hydrangeas in summer wreath. Oh, you know, I love to do the hydrangea wreath, Anne. Yeah, those that's are, her favorite. I love those. Yeah. I mean, I just think they're really, they're simple, but They are them. beautiful, yeah. They really are. Robin, you're resting. Well, I hope you're feeling better. Yes, I've been praying for you, my friend. Oh, and Lori's working on pound cakes. Well, Lori, those are oh, my Oh, now I want to be working on those. She says she's a baker also. I didn't know wow, that. Wow, I did not either. That is so interesting. Hey, Chris, watching from Ohio for the first time. Thank you for joining us. Phyllis said, what flowers are we working with? Uh, do you mean right now, Phyllis? I'm using uh, these little white filler wildflowers. So, yeah, so we've got magnolias, and then we've got the uh, just the small, any kind of white wildflowers yes. would work for this. Yes, yes. Any kind of small daisies would be fine. Mm-hmm, just any kind, little, any, uh, even little white mums would be fine. And for those just joining me, I am dipping my stems in my professional um, Sherbonder glue skillet. I love this glue skillet. I love the color of it. It's bright and cheerful, and it uh, heats the glue in five minutes. You use little glue pellets in it, and within five minutes, they're all melted. It's, it's just really a good product. Hey, Brad, we're using a 14-inch base. 14 inch yes. base. Okay, so now I've got my wildflowers in. I think I'm going to put one more. Just these that have two, I think. Let's see if I can change that. And Mary says she finished a Halloween and she's going to make a fall tomorrow. Oh. Yes, it will be that time before you know it. People are already thinking about the upcoming season. Yeah, so if you guys did not catch our fall wreath that we made last night on Facebook Live, or was it last night? No, or it was Tuesday. Tuesday night. Tuesday night. You can just scroll down on our page. We made a um, we made our first fall of the season yes. on Tuesday night. Okay. Now I am going to add. some vines that I have, some grasses.
Charmaine, if you were making them for double doors, I would do them opposite, mm -hmm. if you could. Mirror them. I would mirror them, so I would put um, one on the left and then one on the right, and I would put the, the flowers opposite each yes. other. Yes, so your other one would be just on this side. So when you would, you know, if you have two stands, stand them up beside each other when you're making the wreath, make them side by side and just kind of mirror it. Mm -hmm. That That's the way that we do it. We we just, if I put this one, then I put that one coming the other way and, and just like that. It can get a little tricky sometimes, and uh, but uh, you can do it. And so if you're just jumping on, um, I know we've had a lot of people join. My name is Amanda Kleckler. This is my mom, Sherry Buckner. Um, we're wreath designers at Grace Monroe Home. We primarily make um, luxury and designer grapevine wreaths. That's our specialty. And um, we love to teach people to make wreaths as well. Yes. So for the last probably two years, um, farmhouse wreaths and magnolia wreaths have been super popular. And so tonight we're, we're making one of our best sellers called uh, Southern Charm, and it's a magnolia wreath. Exactly. Turn this around towards me just for a second so that I can see where I need to add. so far. And now I'm going to add some just plain grass. Thank you, Crystal. And Lori, Lori says she loves this wreath. Chris, Aww. nice to meet you. Thank you for joining us tonight. Phyllis says she loves it so far. Oh, yay. Yes, you can. I, we don't have a lot of room, so this is, this is where I'm at so far. Yes. I'm kind of happy. Plus, I'm left-handed, so I kind of yes. have to work backwards. Yes, we do a lot of bumping into each other. We're opposite. We're opposite, <laughs> exactly. I feel like I need another. You don't have any magnolia leaves left, do you? Um, I don't okay. think okay. so. No. Kim, welcome. Thank y'all. Oh, you already put your grass. Mm -hmm. oh, now I'm the one that's behind. <laughs> well, you you got a lot there already. Well, use that grass; it fell apart. Yeah, sometimes they do that. So now I'm going to add my vine. Phyllis, I am too, actually. I use my right hand for a lot of stuff. She really does, yeah. Uh, Lori said that's beautiful, oh, Amanda. Thank you, Lori. I do love those magnolias. Mm -hmm. Vine 
I love this vine. I use it a lot because it just really adds just that special touch to the wreaths. And it's very versatile, so I use it a lot. Yes, they're the same, Betty. They're supposed to be. They're supposed to both be 14 inch. I think it's just the way. Yeah, hers does look. Is, did they say yours looks bigger? One of them looks bigger. I'm not sure, but yeah, I'm not sure who they think looks bigger. I but think yours, because when I looked at it, I was I like, think it's "Wow, just, hers looks yeah, bigger." I think it's just the way. That it's just the way, and you know, it doesn't matter what size. Um, they say the wreaths are there. You know, they're just all shaped differently, and. Uh, so that's, that's something, if you are ever doing the double doors, what I try to do is get two of them as close to being exactly alike as I can, which of course it's hard to get them exact, but I do try to get them as close as I possibly can. And make sure that uh, for those that are just joining, if uh, you want to purchase the Sherbonder glue skillet, you can get the coupon code for 30% off by um, with and with the link for where to purchase by saying glue in the comments. So just make sure to do that. And if you are a wreath maker, if you make a lot of wreaths, it is a really good investment. We've said it before. I can't we couldn't say do, it enough. Um, yeah. we, we really couldn't do what we do with just a glue gun. This is a really good investment. It and I mean, with the 30% yes. off coupon, it's great. Yes. Yes, ma'am. That's what we were just saying is glue. This is a glue called a glue skillet. Um, we're just dipping the stems right in the glue skillet and then putting them into the grapevine. Exactly. Okay. I'm going to turn this this way again so that I can see what I might need to rearrange or fix. Well, you're way ahead of me. <laughs> now I'm going to start. Okay, that's okay. And the thing with this wreath is you want it to be really kind of wild and airy and exactly. natural. And it's okay to have some of the grapevine showing in this. It's, mm -hmm. you know, that's perfectly all right. Okay. I'm going to move this so that I can hold it up and show you this one. So that you can see while I cut off my stems off of the back. This is a great wreath too, uh, not just for spring and summer, but for uh, anytime you know in in your home over a fireplace uh, this would be pretty uh, and it goes so well with the farmhouse decor so you could use this anytime
and with Amanda doing hers the way that she's doing, that kind of gives you an idea of, first of all, different vines that you can use and the different flowers that you can use with this design. So uh, you could always change out and use even um, hydrangeas. You could use peonies, you could roses, anything if you wanted to do something other than the magnolias. But uh, yeah. I don't know why you would want to because magnolias are gorgeous and I love them. But if you did, you could use any kind of flower. So, what's the, uh, Mary wanted to know, uh, what is the vine called? Uh, to tell you the truth, I'm not sure, Mary. It's, it comes from Michael's. They do not call it anything. They just say, actually, it says bush. So, <laughs> I don't know... Um, what it's called, but uh, hopefully you can find it at Michael's. Hi, Lindsay. Lindsay just joined us. We're happy that you joined us. That is really, that's, that's pretty. I love those magnolias. Very pretty. I like this, the tint of pink that they got, too. And they definitely, it does look a lot bigger. <laughs> Which one looks bigger? Yours. Huh. But actually, that just shows that you can really um, determine the size of your wreaths based on where you, you know, how long you leave your stems. Yeah. Yes, it is. And that's why you don't, um, especially for those of you who ship your wreaths, um, you don't have to have, you know, if somebody wants a 30-inch wreath, you don't have to have a, uh, the, the wreath itself 30 inches. Uh, that's one of the reasons that we do keep the stems long like we do because you'll you, notice I keep the stems really long yes and uh, that way you can make it full and large without having to you know use the great big wreath so um, that's something to think about and especially with shipping because you know if you go over a certain size you're gonna have a balloon uh, charge and nobody wants that so uh, that's something to think about. Yeah, and so you guys just make sure that you type the word glue in the comments if you do want that discount code and that um, the link to where you can purchase this. Because that code is only good for Grace Monroe Home viewers. Um, so we're, we're just really happy that they were going to yes, do that Yes, that was very, very nice of them. And I, again, I want to stress that this is an amazing glue skillet. We have used their products for years. You cannot go wrong with the Sherbonder glue skillet. This particular one I highly recommend just because uh, it, it, the glue melts very quickly in this one. Mm -hmm. You have your own off switch here you've got your knob to, to uh you know adjust the the uh heat and it is just it's really a good and then product. they have the glue pellets oops i dropped something in there i'm not going to try no it don't get it out with your hand <laughs> but they have the glue pellets they melt really quick i would suggest using the glue pellets if you have a glue skillet and not trying to cut up glue sticks because it gets really stringy yes it does this, and these this does not string not you may have stringy. noticed it do, does not string uh, nothing like what I have used in the past. This is this is very good good quality glue. So um, and you can get thirty percent off by using the coupon code. So just make sure to type glue in there. Yep. What size are most of our wreaths that we ship? Um, and they they usually uh, what would you say? We we either use a fourteen or an eighteen inch wreath. Um, usually, they usually the, end up about 30 inch, well, 26 Well, you know, to, it depends on yeah. the style. Um, if we use a 14 inch grapevine, they're usually around 25 inches. Now, yeah. if we use an 18 inch, 
the way that we cut our um, stems, they usually are around 29 or so inches. Yeah, they can go up to 32 even inches. Um, so it just depends. Yeah, Phyllis, I wouldn't recommend, I mean, you can try the electric skillet. It, they don't They work don't seem right. to work as well mm -hmm. for us. Um, just the, because these are made just for that. They're yes. made for glue. An electric so they hold the skillet, temperature. Yes, um, they do. They hold the temperature correctly. And an electric skillet, I tried that before I found the Surebonder skillet and uh, it, it just never worked right. So it is definitely worth the investment. If you make wreaths at all, it is worth the investment. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. well, Luann said they are both very pretty. Thank Did you, you hold yours up? I did. I, I, okay. Uh, uh, the smaller white flowers in mine are just some little wild flowers that uh, I found at Hobby Lobby. Uh, Amanda's white ones in hers came from Michael's. So yeah. you can. So you really, you can use any pick. kind of daisy, little any small kind of little lungs, white. Yeah. Any just small. It's really you're just using it kind of for a little pop of, you know, like just a little filler flower, and you know that to have that white popping out. Um, no, Betty, we don't, and I tell you why. Um, we the she's asking about the balloon charge. Even with the thirty inch, they will fit in a twenty four, four mm -hmm. inch box. And as long as you don't go over twenty four inches, then you don't have the balloon charge, so you don't have to pass that that charge on to your customer. So that's the, they're usually really happy about that. Now um, they may have to fluff just a little bit when they take it out of the box, but uh, it's worth it not to have to pay that gigantic balloon charge. So. Yeah, and that's the advantage of, of working more with a 14 inch base and then cutting your stems um, around, you know, the length that you need. Mm -hmm. They stay secure. I mean, it's not going to change how secure they are in the wreath and then it allows flexibility when you're shipping because you don't have to get, a, you know, one of the larger boxes. Yes, so it definitely helps. Still, as a balloon charge is when you're shipping a wreath and it's over um, 24 by 24 by 6, uh, USPS will charge you a balloon charge and it's a very substantial charge <laughs> and yes, you don't want is. to get hit with that if you're shipping your wreaths because you're going to probably lose some money. These are, um, they're 18 inch great, I mean, no, I'm sorry, they're 14 inch bases, but I mean, they're a good 25 or 26 finished. Yes. I would and, say. And I, it, I, I'm just Yeah, eyeballing just by <laughs> eyeballing, I would think so. I would think they're about mm -hmm. that. Yeah. So I have a tape right. measure somewhere, but I don't, I don't see it right okay. off. So, uh. I All right, guys, well, right. um, if you are interested in one of these glue skillets, like I said, um, we're partnering with Sherbonder through, I believe it's the 30th. I think that's the end of the month. I don't know if we have 30 or 31 days. I don't know month. either. But, so through the 30th, um, they're going to give any of our customers 30% off your entire purchase. Glue, you know, the glue skillet, glue guns, whatever. Um, so that's I would check that out. Deal. Type the, the word glue in the comments if you have not already and you would like to get that discount and that link. And we have had so much fun making these wreaths. These are one of my favorite favorite to make. And we thank you all so much for joining us. Yes, and no Phyllis you won't with that size. It, as mm -hmm. long as it's not uh, uh, 24 by 24 by 6 mm -hmm. is the largest that we recommend you go in. Or you could go 22 by 22 by 8. Yes, you can go 22 by 22 by 8. But uh, what you've got is going to be 18 by 18 by 6. You will not have that charge. No. That's fine. Yep, you'll be fine. Yep. Let's see, I think we may have another question. Let's see. Just need to get a little more of the camera off if that's okay. Yeah, uh, Judy's right. Um, I don't know what Crystal's question was. No, I missed. Uh, I missed her question. But um, I think she's probably asking about how they how they stay in the in the grapevine, and so when you dip them in the in the glue skillet yes. dip your glue your stem in there and you're putting it in the grapevine wreath the glue is actually going to travel all it the way up the stem up the stem and mm -hmm. through the grapevine so you're not actually sticking in just one spot you're sticking all the way through right so, so that makes it, makes it, it really hold secure. you know a lot more securely mm -hmm. so that's uh something we learned a long time ago that would help 
And then we just go, um, after we're done, we just go and clip off the backs. And then we use the hair dryer on a low setting and we just go over it and that gets any kind of excess glue. If mm -hmm. you um, like to use a lot of glue like I do. Yeah, she uses <laughs> twice as much glue as I you use. Yeah, I just, you know, I like them to be secure. Sometimes I'll have some glue around the side and I want to clean it up. If that's the case, you just take your hair dryer and just point it right at it and then you can just easily wipe any excess glue off. Yes. So. Or if you were to get it on your ribbon even, you can do mm -hmm. the same thing. But as you see, we haven't even blow dried these yet. And because of using the, the Surebonder glue pellets in our uh, skillet, uh, I don't have anything. No, I don't either. I mean, there's there's nothing. So it, it really does make a difference to use that those glue pellets. All right, guys. So, well, if that's all the questions we have. Thank you, Ann. She said thank you. It was beautiful. And if you guys think of any questions, just um, you know, pop them in the comments. We'll be checking those throughout the next couple days. That's right. And we're here to help if you have any questions. Yes, we do appreciate you all watching and those that have shared it. We appreciate that as well. And uh, we thank you for joining us. And we hope you all have a blessed evening. Yes. Thank you, guys. We will see you soon.